Hello YouTube, Brideon, newsletter and survival group subscribers. This is Terrell from Terrell03.com. Right here is, is the website. And today is Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. It's 1136 a.m. Central Time here in the Ozarks. And this is a special report. And I have some stunning information to show you. And hopefully then more information that's even clearer is going to be submitted but there's sufficient evidence right now to conclude 100 percent that the the Honga Tonga volcanic eruption was most certainly the result of a missile strike so the uh this is the press release I'm getting it's not finalized yet but these are the references these are the still images of the video most certainly something is coming in from this angle right here and to begin the explosion so I've got the video I've got it enlarged slowed down and I'll show that to you here in just a second so the uh, this event it happened January 15 2022 at 4 15 45 UTC the uh, USGS information down below the project black star investigators at terrell03.com have identified evidence of an airborne missile in flight and splashing down for the payload to detonate at the epicenter location of the 5.8 Honga Tonga earthquake using satellite images multiple sources the USGS seismic data identified the quake epicenter depth at sea level zero zero kilometers comma to miss military missile tests in ocean waters like recently off the coast of Florida maybe I'll include that data in here too the Japan Times reported North Korea missile tests on January 15 2022 the same day as the 5.8 Honga Tonga volcanic eruption event a complete scan of all available satellite imagery will provide the data required for US military elements at the Diego Garcia the Diego Garcia facility pardon me to identify the source of the missile launch that is a fact the evidence supports the hypothesis that the Koreans chose the Honga Tonga uh, volcano crater location as the missile strike location due to recent volcanic activity providing cover for the ongoing missile test operation here's the links I'm going to take you through again those are the satellite images but this uh, thank you to Brenda in Canada and others of you but Brenda sent in the clearest satellite imagery and first I will show you the, the related links then I'll show you the enlarged and all these videos have this is the iNews this is the source of the first video right here clear tonight with the Pacific nation almost in a communication blackout following a volcanic eruption that triggered a tsunami most certainly not the uh, the images are not clear on the on the uh, their data on the, this fellow right here is reporting and he's going to show what happened but I could not I could very very faintly see what was happening so this is the one that that you sent me Brenda I do believe this is the video right here okay let me restart right here this is just looking at the regular view it's gonna happen kind of fast but I'm gonna zoom in and show you what's happening here in just a second it's taking a little while because it's on one quarter speed okay you see th this right here so if you back it up you'll be able to see it but zooming in allowed me to catch it what's going on so this is the volcanic eruption this is the fella Scott Manley that was actually showing the data this is from taken from a satellite okay so um, this is uh, what the scientists know about the volcano eruption this is not a volcanic eruption for certain this is not a volcanic eruption so this is the story this is just one that I chose out of the New York Times this is the USGS data 
And remember, whenever I was sharing this with you previously, zero zero, this is missile testing. The net, the Navy does this type of thing all the time. They just had two tests off the coast of Florida, like I was mentioning. 5.8, never seen a 5.8 before. Usually three, 3.1, 3.2, something like that. It's always zero zero though, because they hit the surface just like what I'm about to show you, and then they explode. So this is the article right here of the. Uh, New Zealand funeral flight to Tonga Council because of the eruption. This is December 21st, 2021. So this is, if this thing was quiet, if it was dormant, not doing anything, this location would not have been chosen. It was chosen because of recent ash cloud activity. So this has all the earmarks of a volcano that's getting ready to, to begin erupting. Like, if this event happened like it did, then scientists would look at it and say, oh, this is a volcanic eruption. No, certainly not a volcanic eruption. I knew that really in my heart of hearts whenever I heard the shock wave. That sound like a freaking missile, a detonation. North Korea, this lady would be reporting. All my pages reset, my apologies. So this lady is reporting on the fourth time in a month of Korea. And you might be thinking, oh my wow, goodness, how does she get it all done? <laughs> my apologies. The um, all these pages were set previously, and then the, whenever I clicked on them now, they're all resetting. My apologies. Oh. This is the record of the, the missile launches coming out of Korea, North Korea, I should say. And so, these are the most recent, and you see this right here between the 15th and 10th and the 15th, 2022. It's talking about short range missiles, two separate. Okay, this doesn't look like a short range missile now, does it? Looks like something else that's happening. But, and this could be a coincidence. It, this could be the House of Rothschild and the DOD test, or this could be Russia testing their hypersonic missiles. You know, China, Russia using Korea because they've been launching these short little, you know, rocket tests, missile tests. And so one of the big boys decide, okay, this is our chance to use not only the volcano as a cover, but to use Korea as a cover. So anybody says anything, we're going to blame it on Korea. Could easily be something like that. And from my investigation, I know the House of Rothschild is working with the the uh, Fort Detrick, we're working with the DOD, Fort Detrick, with DARPA. And so this could be tied in, it seems more likely, which it would be a great cover story, that it's going to be Korea. But uh, that's a pretty darn big and far away from Korea explosion to be Korea. Then this is the Japan um, Times.com. They're reporting in Korea it's fired its uh, railway missile. And then this is the logical, the, the people that work here, so I'm from a Navy family, I'm a little bit more aware of what's going on. With the Navy and with the bases and this installation here, there's a, a top secret stuff going on here, Diego Garcia. But this in, is in proximity, closer to here in the United States, closer than other places. These, whenever they can uh, get a hold of the satellite imagery, because I'm just showing you what I captured from a YouTube video. There's people out there that have better um, graphics from the satellite feeds. They're going to be able to trace this thing going backwards. And maybe if this thing stayed in the atmosphere, they're going to be able to trace it all the way back to its source. But with this information, these people right here, Diego Garcia, these are the best qualified people that I'm aware of in the world to track down, track down who this is. But see, the thing is, if it's, if it's a global military industrial complex thing, if it's a Dick Cheney thing that's connected with DARPA and the DOD, you see what I mean? Then they're, they already knew about it. They might have pushed a button to launch the missile. It might have been launched from Diego Garcia. You see, so... Exactly how this is going to shake out, I'm not sure, but this is uh, the ice, I, this is the icing on the cake right here. So this is a blown up image of what you're looking at, and it's 
it's uh make sure that it's at the start here it looks like it's zero zero so let me just show it to you this is what I, it's an hour it's one minute and 14 seconds it's slow speed so let's just check it out and see what's what's happening here object splash clear as day splash see it slow motion here uh, and then I was thinking that this could be a missile test from something else this is most certainly from the news report from the satellite image in the news report of an object that's going in at the, epi at the epicenter location of the Honga Tonga earthquake this is most certainly it and this is most certainly an object you see I'm missing frames showing the object coming in on other feeds I was able to see this object multiple times coming down this one it just seems to come out of nowhere which satellite imagery I mean unless we're talking Star Trek and time travel and things like that which I don't think so but this thing just appeared it could be because remember that it's almost the shadow of the Sun it's going to start getting dark because the shadow of the Sun it could be that this thing was flying in the shadow of the Sun and then it hit the light so if this would have happened an hour later for example we wouldn't have been able to see it and it could be that someone to push the button was trying to time the sunset along with this missile strike because then you wouldn't be able to visualize the missile so if the shadow of this, so, so if, imagine that you're standing at on that island. The sun was on the horizon. It was just about to set. Okay. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if the sunset, I haven't looked it up yet, of this island is the time. So that somebody timed this so they could get good visuals using the sun to catch the mushroom cloud. But... The sun's on the horizon from the perspective of the missile that's going into the ocean. You see what I mean? So this, this, the timing of it, the location of it, and the uh, the depth of the epicenter of the USGS report. You know, if the if the USGS was part of it, then they would have have changed the depth of the epicenter of this quake to something like 33 kilometers, because that's the depth of magma intrusion. That's the average depth, 33 kilometers, the average depth for magma intrusion for Lake Kilauea. For uh, these, uh, you see the odd quakes that were striking at La Palma. You know, a lot of them were on the shallower, shallower side. Um, but then a lot, some of them were coming in at that 33, 34 kilometer, 35 kilometer depth, similar to other, when you have the, uh, the presence of the magma chamber, the reservoir, the magma intrusion, and then solidification and the breaking, that's what causes the earthquake events to be the happy place being 33 35 kilometers but they didn't the USGS showed this as a missile at zero zero making me think that they're not a part of it they didn't try to update it change it to make it something different didn't try to hide the data or anything but whenever you go back and look at the missile tests you're gonna see zero zero for every single one of them just like this one so this has the earmarks the signature of a missile strike. The imagery from the satellites, missile strike. 15th, same day Korea is doing missile testing. So there's something that, and again, it's probably not Korea because they're short range generally and they're firing them near their neighbors, Japan and stuff, feeling insecure or whatever. This seems like it's too much, even a test, it seems like this is too much for the Koreans. But then you have the Russians and the Chinese that could be working together. And you know what this looks like to me? This looks like an aircraft carrier buster missile that they could be testing for an attack on the United States aircraft carriers. So whenever you look at the NASA, I'm going to include the NASA link. It's, it's included in all of my, my videos. I'm going to include that NASA uh, link, and it's going to show that the futuristic warfare plan that NASA is a part of includes the destruction of every U.S. aircraft carrier in a single day. Shock and awe. It includes that. This is the type of missile right here that could do the job. And the, I was told, I was talking to Joseph on the phone, 
and he mentioned to me that there was a large deployment of our military out of the Pacific and I don't have the details on that yet this is all coming together and it's fluid it's happening right now and with the with the footage that I have access to these are the clearest images that I can give you so just while I'm rattling off here then I'll show that again and then I mean that's clearly a missile that's a clearly a splashdown you can even see evidence of it this is a large missile and then boom can anybody show me a previous volcanic eruption that's like that looks like anything that's like this in the history of uh, since we've had cameras and satellites I don't think you can find me one one that had that sent a shockwave around the planet this was a big freaking missile right here pardon my language okay so this press release is going to be sent today and uh, to all the major news outlets and clear evidence what's happening here we'll see generally I send press releases to the media and they say nothing so we're gonna find out if the media is all part of this and this is going to be covered up swept under the rug if they've already received the orders from DARPA and the DOD to uh, DARPA, Department of Homeland Security that's going to be the task force ringleaders the joint DOD slash Council, um, Council on Foreign Relations Working Group for sure is part of that but as far as officially the puppets in Washington DC then you're gonna be talking about the Department of Homeland Security and the Department of Defense and now FEMA with their concentration camps that are being activated and the NASA plan so lettered agencies that they've been uh, they've been militarized and they've been uh, weaponized against the uh, American people that's what's happening so that, that whenever you look at the narratives coming out of the media that's precisely what you see and it fits exactly with what I'm showing you right here a test missile uh, a missile test for the destruction of the US Navy particularly the military uh, the um, aircraft carriers and that type of a strike would come from none other than China and could be in league with Russia and you see what's going on it with uh, um, the Ukraine and the standoff and NATO you see this is a critical period we're going through right now and the evidence says that we could be on the, the verge the precipice of a global war I hate to say it but that's precisely what the evidence is pointing to and uh, this is most certainly not a natural event that took place this is most certainly man-made and now the media the reporters the investigative reporters their job is to go and find out what this means and to, to keep the the uh, American people updated on a daily basis on the probability that we're looking at war because everybody here in the United States I'm, I'm American I'm sitting in the Ozarks a leader of a survival group program and so threat assessments what I do for people around the world this right here is a gigantic threat to the whole world you guys should realize that appreciate your support very very much hope you get more information right here at terrell03.com tons and tons of information here on what's going on other additional threats that the black star project black star what's happening what's coming from space which I believe is the reason of these, these things are happening and then the super plume that's growing out of control under our feet go down to the video section project black star get more information and whatever you do get your food they're gonna starve you out of your house and try to get you in one of these camps internment camps FEMA camps this is the fourth Reich carrying out what Hitler and the Nazis did to the Jews and the undesirables in World War two we're in the late 1930s gun confiscation is coming for undesirables make sure you have your food because their objective is you see the empty shelves empty shelf Biden right this is a plan and this is just one step in that plan with this missile test that is most certainly not a missile test appreciate your support again get more information right here at terrell03.com and I'll see you on the next black star update report